Step one, measure hiring success. Everyone knows that if something is important in business, it's crucial to measure it. But few companies measure hiring success. And the problem is they really don't know how bad their hiring is. So they're not motivated to improve their hiring methods. Oddly enough, many companies measure the average cost to fill jobs and the average time to fill them. But when companies begin measuring quality of hire, they find out that they've been hiring people on the cheap and doing it quickly, but 75% of the people they hire turn out to be mishires. Over the years, we've developed two very simple and very powerful measurements you can add to your skill set. Percent A players hired and average costs of mishires. You'll perform these calculations and the result will be even greater motivation to take this course and to become a master at top grading. Step number two, create a job scorecard. When low performers are fired and their exit interviews are done, the vast majority of the time the fired person complains that they never really clarified what my job was. Is this a convenient excuse of a C player? Well, sometimes yes, but we found that the vast majority of job descriptions are too vague, leading to some real confusion to some poor performance and unwanted turnover. The top grading solution is what we call a job scorecard. And the key is to identify measurable accountabilities. What are the numbers the new hire must achieve in order to get a great performance review? Do this and the company and the candidates will truly know what the job is and mishires will be much less likely. Step three, recruit from networks. Tens of thousands of top graders say that the quickest, easiest, cheapest way to recruit is to stay in touch with A players and when a job becomes open, hire from your networks. The problem is recruiting from ads is time consuming and inefficient because ads tend to attract C players and their resumes are so cleverly written they all appear to be A player resumes. We'll help you build your networks. Step four, use the top grading career history form. Screening candidates from their resume wastes your time because resumes of C players are deceptive and full of hype. Using the top grading career history form will save you time and will get the best candidates in for face to face interviews. Just email candidates the top grading career history form or use our top grading snapshot service. The top grading career history form asks for all the information you wish resumes contained, but don't, such as full compensation history, boss ratings, true reasons for leaving, and much, much more. And it has a built in truth serum, which really works. The truth serum is the message that in order to get a job offer, candidates will eventually have to arrange personal reference calls with bosses. C players drop out and A players stay in the job hunt. So using the top grading career history form enables you to accurately separate the A players from the C and B players so you can phone screen the very best. Step number five conduct telephone screening interviews. Do phone screens from just resumes and you waste a huge amount of time. But do those phone screens after studying the completed top grading career history forms and you'll only talk with good candidates and only invite great candidates in for face to face interviews. Step number six, conduct competency or sometimes called behavioral interviews. Hmm. Trouble is, competency interviews are used as the main hiring tool by thousands of companies that only hire 25% high performers. Why? The questions are too often softballs. It's like this, Pat, 
Can you describe a time you were a collaborative team player? Pat naturally picks only the most favorable examples, thus faking the interview by hiding failures. And typically, the candidates get too few chances to ask their questions. In top grading, we ask for failures, not just successes, and we schedule 15 minutes of each competency interview for the interviewee to ask questions. The result? Candidates get their questions answered satisfactorily and become more sold on taking the job. Step number seven. Conduct tandem top grading interviews using the top grading interview guide. I say that very dramatically because this has been called the holy grail or the silver bullet of hiring. By far the most powerful hiring tool ever devised. C player candidates fake their resumes and try to fake their answers to questions and that's why there are 75% mishires. But in top grading, candidates know they will eventually have to arrange reference calls with bosses. So if you want the full truth, you ask about the full career. The top grading interview asks about every job, meaning every success, every failure, every key decision, and every key relationship. And it's a tandem interview with two interviewers. And as you'll learn, two interviewers are much better than one at learning everything job-related there is to know about candidates. And as you'll see, you'll get accurate insights into 50, not 15, but 5 zero, 50 competencies for managers. Step number eight, master advanced interviewing techniques. Research shows that the vast majority of managers are, sorry to say, poor interviewers. When was the last time someone coached you on your interviewing style? Never? Too bad. But in top grading, the two tandem interviewers take just a few minutes to go through the interviewer feedback form and give each other just a couple of helpful suggestions. Do this and your interviewing style will improve. You'll become smoother and more professional over time. This part of the course is really instruction in the art of interviewing, and I personally demonstrate all of the most sophisticated advanced techniques. Step number nine, analyze all the data and write a draft executive summary. In most companies, the interviewers do not record their conclusions in anything approaching a very thorough report. So conclusions tend to be emotional, and lead to avoidable mishires. In top grading, interviewers systematically analyze all the data. A draft executive summary is written after the top grading interview, but before the reference checks, after which, of course, it will be finalized. This part of the course teaches you the key principles and methods for interpreting the huge amount of data you get on a candidate. Step number 10. Candidate arranges reference calls with bosses, and you finalize your executive summary. Most companies let candidates supply references who are buddies, so the reference calls are usually worthless. <laughs> In top grading, the interviewers pick the people they want to talk with, including former bosses. Getting honest feedback from bosses and others provides deeper insights into candidates making hiring decisions better. And you don't play telephone tag, because remember, the candidates do the work. They arrange the calls. Step number 11, coach your new hire. Most new hires don't get real feedback or coaching for about a year so they are less productive than they could have been. What a shame! With a huge amount of job-related information gathered through the top grading process, candidates are promised and then get coaching within a couple of weeks. The benefit is that new hires are more productive and more motivated right away, and they develop faster than if they didn't get real feedback or coaching for almost a year. This part of the course teaches the coaching principles and has videotape demonstrations. 
Step number 12, the final step, is measure hiring success annually. Without annual measurement of hiring success, companies tend to start cutting corners on top gritting methods and the mishire rate increases. Remember, in step number one, you learn the skills for measuring percent high performers hired and the average cost of mishires. And you do that before actually top grading. But now it's important to use these skills annually, tracking both those measurements since top grading was launched. When everyone sees percent high performers increasing and increasing and costs of mishires plummeting, everyone becomes even more committed to top grading disciplines. And every hiring manager becomes accountable for quality of hires, which is an additional motivation to top grade.